Yo, what's up, fam? This is your boy Mike Johnson, aka Mr. Johnson. Um, this is the first day, uh, or excuse me, the first episode of uh, DDG TV. DDG, DDG TV. We're gonna start a little project. Um, really, DDG TV is a project uh, uh, that basically is a survey. I'm gonna talk to some random people and ask them what the, what is the makeup of a gentleman. Um, it's been on a hiatus. DDG has been on hiatus for a long time, for a little bit. We didn't, we haven't been doing much. Some of y'all haven't jumped on board. Y'all thought it was a good idea, but you haven't jumped on board yet. Now it's time to actually start up. Um, thank God for uh, the type of technology that we do have. I can put up these videos um, uh, to give you an idea on what the world expects and what the world, how they uh, weigh who a gentleman is. So um, that's exactly what we're going to approach this with. First things first, what is a gentleman? Uh, what do you think is etiquette? What do you expect from a gentleman, a man of integrity, a man who's got character, who's got class, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to talk to some random people uh, from both genders, male and female, get, them, get an understanding as far as if people do understand what a gentleman is and um, etiquette, so forth and so on. And we're going to start from there. So I hope you're a part. Uh, I hope you're ready for it. Uh, because I'm excited uh, to learn. I'm excited to just uh, really just pick up on some things that I may not have I've known or I've missed out on or so forth and so on. So I'm excited. And I'm looking to connect with y'all soon. Y'all have a good day, all right? Peace out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is the first episode of DDGC TV. We have Miss Rossman here. I have four questions to ask her so we can teach all you guys young guys about being a gentleman. First question, Miss Rossman, what makes a gentleman? How your opinion? What's your makeup of a gentleman? Um, someone who just respects all women, um, and who does all the regular things like open the door. Also, oh, you like the open door type of gentleman? Yeah. Okay. I mean, not always. I like to open the door sometimes. Okay. So he doesn't overdo it. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Kind and considerate, um, not overbearing and rude. Oh, rude. It's just awful. Uh, <laughs> yes. And, you know, sometimes it's good to be honest, but brutal honesty, no. that's just stepping the line. Brutal honesty. Brutal honesty. Like, really? I want to know what's the truth, but you don't have to be vicious about it. You know what I mean? Because I would, I would have that same consideration. That's true. That's true. Yes. And what I think is be, I would choose the same words. Really? So what's your makeup of a gentleman? Hmm? What is your makeup of a gentleman? Um, having manners, opening door for you. You like that? Yeah. What if you got the guy who does it over, like over overbearing? He does it all the time. Overbearing is like no. I mean like half. I don't know. I'm like half the bad boy, half the not so much. Ah, oh, she likes the half and half. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh yeah, you don't want anybody who's really a wimp. Really? I have to say that, but there's a difference between being a whim and being inconsiderate and rude. Okay, so you're yeah. okay, so you're not you're not half and half, but you're like partial. I just want them to be thinking about me. A gentleman is someone who has respect for themselves first of all. That way, they can respect others. Someone who is courteous, respectful, and very memorable. Okay, courteous and respectful. Y'all paying attention? Be courteous and respectful. Okay, I like that. Gentlemen, I would assume, or at least according to me, is someone that's really traditional. It's not. Okay. You, you know, like someone who's not gonna holler at you, and, and I don't like flames, or I don't like someone who's over familiar. Um, stuff like that. Okay, okay. I guess that everyone's makeup or their standard gentleman is it someone who opens the car door for you, okay. laps any flowers. But I think a gentleman would be someone who's very caring, respective, mm. um, giving you space, just someone very cool and just honest. Okay, honestly, this is my father. A gentleman to me is a man that treats me like my father treated me. Mm. And in this case, that can go both ways. Some people may have neglected childhood life, and then some people may have good childhood life. My dad always taught me that a gentleman will open the door, a gentleman will always escort you first, and a gentleman will always reach out for your hand. And, and the main thing women should understand is that a gentleman will always open your door. 
That's to make the fucking for me. You better freeze. You better freeze. Okay. This is not bragging. It's just having a right perspective. Gotta set our sights on things to come. That's what do you? What is your opinion of etiquette? What's etiquette? Um, just everyday habits, like making sure that you're you're not haggard and all over the place with things. Like you know, oh, like chomping is awful. Um, oh, she hates chomping. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. No, not that is not cute. Um, not <laughs> what else? Like, you know, like, I like cute things like opening the door for your date or whatever, or like pulling your chair out. And it. Just be kind and consider consideration. Too. Okay. Etiquette is how you conduct yourself. In my view, how you conduct yourself out in public. Okay. Um, how you eat, how you speak, mm. how you carry yourself, mm. the way others view you. How you eat and how you speak. Yeah. Oh, that's good. See, most of y'all cats, y'all been brought up a certain way. You think you don't have to, how you eat and how you speak. Being respectful and being courteous. Pay attention. All right. <laughs> okay. Etiquette would be, I guess, um, manners and just, you know, don't look sloppy, you know, cramp yourself, you know, yes. I'm trying to say you have to be a free boy, but just look proper, there's a time and a place for everything. I agree, I agree. Okay. Which one with your mouth closed? Thank you. Using a napkin, saying please and thank you, and not slurping in your drink. Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> and, and one other part that really makes, makes me feel good is how you eat when you eat your plate okay. on the outside end. Oh, outside end. Outside end means you eat uh, your food to the center, and if you leave anything, you leave it in one corner. That's outside. Uh, okay. So. I